Hawaii DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. Where is the engine cutoff switch located? A. Near the right hand grip. B. Near the left foot pedal. C. Near the left hand grip. D. Near the right foot pedal. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. The engine cutoff switch is usually located near the right hand grip. Question 2. Instruct your passenger to. A. Put his or her feet on the ground when the motorcycle is stopped. B. Hold on firmly to your waist, hips, or belt. C. Grip the backrest. D. Wear a seat belt. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. Instruct your passenger to hold on firmly to your waist, hips, or belt. Keep both feet on the footrests, even when the motorcycle is stopped. Keep legs away from the muffler S, belts, chains, or moving parts. Sit as far forward as possible without crowding you. Stay directly behind you, leaning as you lean. And avoid unnecessary talk or motion. Question 3. Another vehicle operator is most likely to try to share your lane when? A. You are riding up a hill. B. You are on a multi-lane highway. C. You are in a residential area. D. The vehicle operator wants to pass you. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Of these four situations, a vehicle operator is most likely to try to share your lane when the person wants to pass you. Question 4. How can you warn the driver behind you that you are about to slow down? A. Flash your brake light. B. Wave your arms. C. Slam on the brakes. D. Turn around and make eye contact. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Warn the driver behind you that you are about to slow down by flashing your brake light. Do this by tapping the brakes. Question 5. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should. A. Increase your speed. B. Maintain or decrease your speed. C. Decrease your speed. D. Maintain or increase your speed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should maintain or increase your speed. Question 6. A. Fill in the bank. Following distance is the minimum space cushion for safe riding. A. 5 second. B. 1 second. C. 2 second. D. 4 second. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. A 2 second following distance is the minimum space cushion for safe riding. Question 7. When following other motorcycles, you should leave a minimum space cushion of A 2 seconds B 3 seconds C 6 seconds D 4 seconds 5 4 3 2 1. Answer A. When following other motorcycles, leave a space cushion of at least 2 seconds. Question 8. Motorcycle brake lights are not as noticeable as car brake lights. What can you do? A. Avoid driving at night. B. 
Flash your brake light. C. Install extra lights. D. Use your high beam. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. Motorcycle brake lights are not as noticeable as car brake lights, but they will be more noticeable if they flash. Flash your brake light by tapping the brake. Question 9. You are being followed closely, and as you approach an intersection, the traffic light turns yellow. What should you do? A. Tap your brake to flash your brake light. B. Accelerate to make it through the light. C. Beep your horn to warn the driver. D. Change lanes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If you believe that the vehicle behind you may not notice that you are slowing down, you should flash your brake light to warn the driver. Question 10. The best way to swerve is to A. Brake while you are swerving. B. Pull in the clutch and apply the rear brake. C. Avoid braking and press the hand grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. D. Press the hand grip on the side opposite to the direction in which you want to turn. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The best way to swerve is to press the hand grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. Never brake and swerve at the same time. Question 11. You control the rear brake. A. With the right hand lever. B. With the left foot pedal. C. With the right foot pedal. D. With the left hand lever. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. You control the rear brake with the right foot pedal. Question 12. When you are being passed on the left, you should A. Avoid the left lane position B. Avoid the center lane position C. Ride on the shoulder of the road D. Move closer to the passing vehicle 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When you are being passed, you should avoid the left lane position. You could be hit by an extended mirror or be affected by other hazards associated with the passing vehicle. In this situation, the center lane position is best because it will leave you more room for error on both sides if you are hit by a blast of wind from the passing vehicle. Question 13. If your motorcycle was built before 1978, you must remember to a. Get a special license. B. Turn the headlight on whenever you ride. C. Only ride during the day. D. Avoid carrying passengers. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If your motorcycle is older than 1978, you must remember to turn on the headlight whenever you ride. Motorcycles built since 1978 turn on the headlight automatically whenever the engine is running. Question 14. What controls the front brake? A. The left hand lever. B. The left foot pedal. C. The right hand lever. D. The right foot pedal. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. The right hand lever controls the front brake. The left hand lever controls the clutch. The right foot pedal is for the rear brake, and the left foot pedal is for the gear shifter. 
Question 15. Riders in a staggered formation should pass. A1 at a time. B all together. C2 at a time. D in a group no larger than 4 or 5 riders. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Riders in a staggered formation should pass one at a time. Question 16. You shift gears by engaging the clutch lever and using the A. Rear brake lever B. Right foot pedal C. Front brake lever D. Left foot pedal 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. You shift gears by using the left foot pedal. Question 17. Which of the following affect your blood alcohol concentration? A. The number of drinks you've had. B. How much you weigh. C. How fast you drink. D. All of the above. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer D. How fast you drink, the number of drinks you've had, and how much you weigh can all affect your blood alcohol concentration. Question 18. When traveling in heavy, congested traffic, what is an adequate space cushion between you and the vehicle ahead? A. 3 seconds B. 1 second C. 4 seconds D. 2 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. When traveling in heavy, congested traffic, an adequate space cushion is at least 4 seconds. Question 19. On a highway, you see other vehicles about to merge into your lane from an entrance ramp. What should you do? A. If you cannot change lanes, adjust your speed to open up space for the merging drivers. B. Give them plenty of room. C. Move into another lane if one is open. D. Do all of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Drivers on an entrance ramp may not see you on the highway. Give them plenty of room. Move into another lane if one is open. If you cannot change lanes, adjust your speed to open up space for the merging drivers. Question 20. The best path through a curve. A is different for each curve. B is along the center of the road. C is close to the center line. D is close to the edge of the road. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The best path through a curve is different for each curve. Question 21. When you start your motorcycle, your right wrist should be positioned. A. Flat, so you won't use too much throttle. B. Low, to increase control. C. High, to use the throttle the most. D. In the most comfortable position. 5 4 3 2 1. Answer A. Position your right wrist flat so that you won't use too much throttle when starting off. Question 22. What may happen if you ride through a turn too fast? A. The motorcycle may suffer mechanical failure. B. You may veer into another lane. C. 
other drivers may become distracted. D. You may tip over. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. If you ride through a turn too fast, you can end up veering into another lane. Question 23. To maintain a safe riding distance on the road, you should look, fill in the blank, ahead on your travel path. A. 25 seconds. B. 40 seconds. C. 12 seconds. D. 60 seconds. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. To maintain a safe riding distance on the road, you should look 12 seconds ahead on your travel path. Note that at 60 mph, you will travel 1056 feet in 12 seconds. Question 24. When approaching an intersection, you should select a lane position to A. Reduce your following distance. B. Increase your speed and pass quickly. C. Increase your visibility to other vehicle operators. D. Do all of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When you approach an intersection, you should select a lane position to increase your visibility to other vehicle operators. Question 25. You can increase your safety when riding at night by A. Skimming the road with your feet as you ride B. Following vehicles closely so you can see better C. Riding in the center lane position D. Increasing your following distance 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. You can increase your safety when riding at night by increasing your following distance to give you more time to react. Question 26. Weaving when riding over a metal grating. A. Is harmful to the motorcycle. B. Is not hazardous. C. Is caused by poor motorcycle skills. D. Is dangerous to motorcycle riders. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. Weaving caused by riding over a metal grating is not hazardous. Relax, stay on course, and ride straight across it. Question 27. When you are riding behind a car, which lane position will make you most visible to the driver? A. Left. B. Center. C. Right. D. Any. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. Riding in the center lane position makes you most visible. Drivers look in their rear view mirrors more often than in their side mirrors, and you will be seen. Question 28. As you approach the center of a turn, you should A. Apply the rear brake B. Decrease the throttle C. Move toward the outside of the curve D. Move toward the inside of the curve 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. As you approach the center of a turn, you should move toward the inside of the curve. After you reach the center of the turn, you should move toward the outside. Question 29. Chain slippage can be reduced by A. Loosening the chain B. Replacing the chain every month C. Tightening the chain D. None of the above 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. 
Tightening the chain should reduce the slippage. If the problem persists, check for a worn or stretched chain or bent sprockets, which may require replacement of the chain. Question 30. You should roll on the throttle in which of the following situations? A. When preparing to stop. B. To help stabilize your motorcycle in a turn. C. When passing a row of parked cars. D. When descending a hill. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. You should roll on the throttle when turning or on a curve to help stabilize your motorcycle. Question 31. The most likely place for a collision is A. A residential area B. A school zone C. An intersection D. A multi-lane highway 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The most likely place for a collision is an intersection because many vehicles are trying to do different things at once. Question 32. A motorcycle mini lane is A. A full lane width B. One half the width of a lane C. A special lane designated for motorcycles only D. One third the width of a lane 5 4 3, 2, 1. Answer D. A motorcycle mini lane is approximately one third the width of a regular traffic lane. Therefore, there are three lane positions available to a motorcycle in each lane left, center, and right. Question 33. If you are carrying a package that prevents you from steering with both hands, a. You must not ride a motorcycle. B. Ride only in first gear. C. Ride in residential areas only. D. Ride under 30 mph. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If you are carrying a package that prevents you from steering with both hands, you must not ride a motorcycle. Both hands are required for riding. Question 34. When making a normal turn, should the motorcycle rider lean? A. Yes, the rider should lean in the opposite direction. B. Yes, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. C. No, the rider should not lean. D. Yes, the rider should lean forward. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. In a normal turn, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. This helps maintain balance. Question 35. When scanning road conditions, you should be looking for A. Road conditions B. Escape routes C. Traffic conditions. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When scanning road conditions, you should be looking for escape routes, traffic conditions, and road conditions that could present a hazard. Question 36. Being passed by a large vehicle is especially hazardous because A. A large blast of wind can affect your control. B. The drivers of large vehicles are often tired from working long hours. C. Large vehicles cannot accelerate as fast as motorcycles. D. Large vehicles tend to swerve into your lane. 5 4 3 2. 1. Answer A. 
being passed by a large vehicle is especially hazardous because a large blast of wind from the passing vehicle can affect your control. Motorcycles are smaller than cars, so blasts of wind affect them more than they do cars. Question 37. During, fill in the blank, turns, you should lean your motorcycle while keeping your body straight. A. Slow, wide. B. Fast, tight. C. Fast, wide. D. Slow, tight. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. During slow, tight turns, you should lean your motorcycle while keeping your body straight. Question 38. What is a good strategy for seeing bumps on a road at night? A. Wear reflective clothing. B. Stay in low gears. C. Watch the taillights of the car ahead of you. D. Use your low beam headlight. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Watch the taillights of the car ahead of you. If you see them bounce up and down, it likely means that the car is riding over bumps. Question 39. If you are riding in a staggered formation, when should you switch to riding in pairs? A. When you are riding at night. B. Never. C. When you are turning a sharp corner. D. When you are approaching an intersection. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. Motorcyclists should never travel in pairs. A motorcycle requires a full lane width to operate safely. Question 40. When passing another vehicle, you should A. Begin your pass from the center lane position. B. Make eye contact with the driver. C. Move as far left as possible. D. Move quickly through the driver's blind spot. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When passing another vehicle, you should move quickly through the driver's blind spot. Question 41. If you need to brake and swerve, you should A. Brake before or after swerving B. Brake after swerving C. Brake while swerving D. Brake before swerving 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. If you need to brake and swerve, you must brake before or after swerving. Never brake and swerve at the same time. Question 42. When starting on a hill, you should use Fill in the blank, to hold you while you wait for the engine to take hold. A. Your feet. B. The front brake. C. The rear brake. D. The clutch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When starting on a hill. You should use the rear brake to hold you while you wait for the engine to take hold. Question 43. Which of the following is NOT a way to increase your visibility at night? A. Wear reflective clothing. B. Use your low beam headlight. C. Increase your following distance. D. Change your lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. Using your low beam is not a way to increase your visibility at night. At night, you should use your high beam for best visibility. 
Question 44. The positions within a lane that are available to a motorcycle are A. Center only B. 1, 2, 3, and 4 C. Left and right D. Left, center, and right 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Answer D. In each lane of traffic, there are three positions available to a motorcycle, left, center, and right. Question 45. To avoid hazardous situations, you should A. Search the road ahead B. Be able to swerve C. Avoid carrying passengers D. Watch other vehicles 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. To avoid hazardous situations, you should search the road ahead for possible hazards and dangers that you may be approaching. Question 46. If a dog starts to chase you while you are riding, you should A. Kick the dog B. Call animal control services C. Approach the animal and then speed away D. Stop until the owner is found 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If a dog begins to chase you, you should approach the animal and then speed away. This should stop the dog from chasing you. Question 47. Intersections are especially dangerous to motorcycles because A. Other vehicle operators often do not see them approaching. B. They do not have to obey traffic lights. C. They are slower than other vehicles. D. Motorcycles are not permitted to cross intersections. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Intersections are especially dangerous to motorcycles because other vehicle operators often do not see them approaching. Question 48. To carry a passenger, your motorcycle must have a. A. Windshield B. Foot rests for the passenger C. Side saddlebags D. High quality shocks 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. To carry a passenger, your motorcycle must have a set of foot rests for the person. Also, the seat must be big enough for two people. Question 49. Which lane position should you ride in to increase your line of sight? A. Any. B. Left. C. Right. D. Center. 5. 4. 3. 2 1 Answer B. To increase your line of sight, ride in the left lane position. It helps you see beyond the vehicle in front of you and spot oncoming dangers. Question 50. When riding in a group, beginner riders should be positioned. A. In the front. B. At the end. C. In front of the last rider. D. Behind the leader. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Answer D. When riding in a group, beginner riders should be positioned behind the leader. This allows them to keep up with the group. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and share.